Hello and welcome to the introduction to rendering tutorial. Here we will quickly get a brief on how to make a simple but rich graphical output using ready drag drop presets and libraries. Having said that, let's get started. Let's start with the interior project found in the recent files section in the pop-out menu when starting Composer. Now I will change the default material on the wood, follow along if you want. Notice this may take a while, I'd prefer a faster method. Let's go ahead and open the scene materials panel. Honestly there are many different ways which we can shift between. When it comes to assigning materials, we can select the slots holding control, or we can just simply drag and drop materials in the panel on one another. Guess I missed that spot. There we go. Okay, so now to quickly do a preview render just hit the F4 key on the keyboard. Notice we have a sun lighting that came with this project. Let's go ahead and examine different lighting methods. Open the rendering workbench, in the environment desk tab. We will uncheck the sunlight source, and check the HDR instead. The background is a solid color, I will turn that off from the background desk tab. Alright, so now we can simply drag any HDR directly from the library below. We can tweak the power and the brightness parameter over there. In addition to all that we can add reflections and our shadows simply by checking them. We can tweak the parameters to suit our preferences. Same goes to the shadow as well. Now let's go ahead and turn off all those for now and proceed to the background desk tab. Backgrounds can be dragged into the scene as well. We can pick different solid colors as well. Spherical backgrounds are plain ones. Now let's add a different source of lighting in our scene. 
First let's turn off the HDR lighting, and take off the background image. Now we will go to the scene building workbench in the light task tab to add an area light. Here are different types of scene lightings. Let's go with the area light. Transformations can be applied in these types of lights. So let's go ahead and move it. Hit 2 on your keyboard and drag. Hit 3 and scale. Let's increase the light power from the right panel. Now we will duplicate this area light and drag it to the other side. Enter 100. Now I will try to create a nice render. Feel free to follow along. While that, let's learn a little about the effect we have over our rendering shots. Go to the Image Effects Desk tab. There's nothing really to explain in the effects, it's easy as clicking. Now, look at these rendering statistics. There are three important parts. The SPP standing for sample per pixel, and this can be used to know how much quality you have reached. The FPS or the frame per second helps us to calculate how much time will a render take to be done. Finally, the image size. Always pay attention to this number if it's your desired output. However, you can change the SPP or the image size from the Output Image Task tab. Now we will finish off by knowing the different types of renders. Let's go to the Render Task tab. The first icon is the Preview Render. However, you can save and output using it as any other type. The Clay Mode is to study the lighting in your scene thoroughly. It will get rid of all the textures in the scene. The fixed will continue rendering until you decide to stop it, but fixed render will take the size of the image size selected or entered.
Next is that to file, similar to the previous except it will end when it reaches a certain SPP. Mainly used for rendering multiple frames. The last one is to render scene states, suitable to save time when rendering prototype in different lighting angles and materials. The last thing before wrapping up this tutorial is capture image. This icon is what you will use to save out your images. This is all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.